second year PhD student and welcome back to my channel. Okay, so I am in my office. Today is my last day of seeing individual clients. I have group left and supervision left and teaching their final presentations for my adjunct professor position. But today is my last day seeing individual clients this semester and I'm excited. I only have three clients today, which is nice because usually I see six clients in a day and then I have an hour for supervision, an hour for lunch, and an hour for writing my clinical notes. With three clients today, I've been able to finish up the remaining paperwork that I have to do since this I'm closing out my semester here. But I'm just thinking about, I'm reflecting on terminating with some clients and how that can be a sad feeling of, wow, we've done so much great work together. I've seen you every week and now I'm not going to see you again and processing what that's like to be rooting for them and wanting the best for them and hoping that everything turns out well, but just knowing that there's no way for me to know how things turned out with them processing what it's like to be terminating with my supervisor. She was my first real supervisor and we have an amazing working relationship. We have one more supervision together where I get my evaluation for the year, but this is our last working supervision where we're talking about my clients and my caseload and stuff like that. So that's also kind of sad because I really like her and I hate when I like people and then I have to let them go. Also just reflecting on how much I feel like I've grown in this semester of being here. My skill sets in diagnosis and um, case conceptualization, using interventions from specific theoretical orientations and being able to name what I'm doing, why I did it, my comfort level in sitting with clients, my ability to handle the bureaucratic side, documentation, case note writing, reaching out to clients when they miss sessions and what to say then and how to document that, assessing for risk. Like I just feel I have seen myself grow a lot in this one semester and that's amazing. This semester for group therapy, I I was what's called a process observer so I'm in the group sessions and basically myself and one of my peers were taking notes and we meet with our supervisor immediately before the group and immediately after and we talk about processing the dynamics of the group and interventions and how we conceptualize the client so forth and so on and all of this is so that for next semester my peer and I will be leading co-facilitating the group being the ones that are doing the interventions and working with the clients and so I'm excited for that too it's just so strange because for so long within this field of psychology my work has been in the classroom undergrad it's in the classroom my first master's in the classroom even last year was mainly classroom work and then this year was the first year out of how long have I been doing this since 2016 and we're at the end of 2023 so a long time. This year was the first year where I have been like doing the embodied work of being a clinician, having a client load, being in group therapy, teaching, having my own classroom, having my own students, creating my own syllabus all at the same time. And I'm just processing what that is like to actually be doing the work. My mom asked me the other day, do you like it? Do you enjoy it? And I always hesitate when I'm when someone asks me something because I genuinely want to think about it and give you an honest answer I never just be like oh it's fine like no so I was thinking about it while I paused she said because by the time you finally get to see clients and do this work you're so far into your education like what if you got to this point and you didn't like it and I just remember me last year when we had like pseudo clients um and I just remember being like wow I hate this <laughs> but to be fair the room that we were in actually the video that I recorded for that, I never posted, but I think I was wearing this exact same outfit. But anyway, the office that we were in was just dingy and we only got to see the clients for three sessions. And I just 
was just like, I hate this. I'm a big environmental person. And so with the environment not being right and just all of that, it just didn't feel grounded. It didn't feel balanced. And so that didn't feel comfortable or enjoyable to me. But getting in the routine of every week I come in, I see my individual clients. Every week I come in for the group clients. Every week I come in with the same supervisor. I have seminar every week and just you know, I have Pratt class as a course where we talk about all of our experiences and consult with one another and everything. So I'm thinking about how I feel about it now and I do enjoy it. I do enjoy it. I think I would enjoy it even more. This also was a reflection that I had about my teaching too. I think I would enjoy it even more in a different environment. Like for example, right, I haven't had a single black client all semester, not one. So being a black person, it's like, I didn't get to feel what that felt like to be a black clinician with a black client. And that's by virtue of where I'm at, the program I'm at, the state that it's in, that kind of stuff. But that's something that I, I wanted now, but definitely would like to see more of so I can test, you know, what I feel like in those spaces and how I show up similarly or differently as, as a, you know, black queer clinician with black and potentially queer people. But also what would it be like to have older clients most of my clients are around late teens, early, mid 20s. And so in some ways we're a similar age, in some ways in a similar stage in life. Like I had a couple of clients that were graduate students. And so I wonder what that would be like to have some older clients, right? Some clients who are already parents, who are grandparents, who are in their 60s or 70s. I want to feel that, test that. And that's just not the site that I'm at, which is fine. I love the site that I'm at, which is also something, right? Because my first day here, I completely had just a full breakdown because of all of the stress of all the systemic barriers that come with being in school a lot of times and just the building that I'm at not having parking and how that threw me because I'm like this means I gotta park way far away which means I have to build an extra time to walk up here and the parking where I have to park is so expensive to pay for every week and like which never got resolved, by the way. Um, <laughs> I'm doing exactly what I just described. I just came to a place of acceptance with it. But everything else about the site, I love. I wish there were more black clinicians. Um, there's only one and they're going to be my supervisor in the spring. So that'll be nice. But... All in all, this was a great experience. I feel like I definitely have come to terms with the fact that I am a scientist practitioner. That is who I am. That is what I do. That is my professional aspiration. Um, and it's what I'm already doing now. And so I do want to have a practice in my career. I also want it to be balanced with me doing my own research and also teaching. So right now where I'm thinking is definitely some kind of tenure track professor role. And a lot of professors still maintain a clinical practice in addition to them being a professor and so I'm starting to, to toy around with the idea of that because I've gotten that experience this semester of navigating all three of those areas of what that would be like with teaching and research and clinical practice so yeah and I just can't help thinking about how much more time I will have when I don't have to have classes of my own oh my god it eats up so much of my time like if I was just seeing clients individual clients group clients teaching and doing my own research I still would have so much time but at this point being a second year PhD student I think I have one more year worth of coursework and then I'm like done with classes so that'll be so freaking nice <laughs> I'm proud I'm proud of the work that I've done with my clients I'm proud of the feedback that I've been getting from my supervisor I'm proud of how I have showed up in these spaces I'm proud of how much I know that I have learned I have excellent retention with my clients so where I am located they have a uh, maximum of 10 sessions and I have had several clients this semester who have maxed it out because they just wanted to keep coming back. I've had two clients specifically ask me, do y'all take insurance so that I can continue my work with you? And I've had to tell them, unfortunately, no, we don't. But they like didn't want to stop meeting with me. You know, I've had a, a client ask me, you know, when are you opening your private practice so that I can come back? Um, and that was like, not for a while. <laughs> I still have several more years before we're there. But all of that is feedback that feels good. Like I feel like I'm moving in my passion and my purpose in a way that is authentic to me. And that means a lot because I don't believe in wasting my time. And this is a lot of time, money, energy, okay, to be putting into a profession, a career, a skill set, a knowledge base if I don't like it. So 
but I do like it. I see myself as a healer and to me I found my way into psychology because for me psychology is just the modern day language for that work. That if we were in a pre-colonial time you know and I'm with my people, my culture, my communities like that's the role that I would be playing within the village anyway. I would be the medicine woman that hence the name of this channel right. I think I would be the one that people come to for wisdom, for medicinal herbs, for assistance with childbirth and so psychologist for me is the the contemporary label that describes all of the things that I already feel naturally inclined to do and feel like I have a natural ability to do and so furthering my education has been my way of refining a skill set that I think I already I know I already innately contain so Excited to share that with y'all and um, I'll see you in the next video.